What up, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're actually talking about books. And I'm not going to read them to you. We're going to talk about the top five books I read this year. I think I got 18 done. And if you're all about personal development, you probably want to check them out, too. So in a world of social media and TikTok and... Well shit, just a lot of stuff that isn't reading. Books can kind of get lost in the shuffle. I have always been a reader and actually started in the sci-fi section when I first really got into sci-fi, but when I got into sales and I started to work more in the business development side and really started to focus on my own personal growth and personal development, I started to, to dive into that personal development genre. I'm big on mindset, which obviously made a channel about that, so there's no joke about that. I'm big on, on, on stretching your mindset on stretching your comfort zone growing as a person and so a lot of the books that we're talking about today do have to do with business development but they also tie a lot into uh, personal development as well as just growth personal growth so what I want to do is talk about the books that I read this past year I want to talk about the top five that I feel were most impactful for me and I will break it down to what I mean by impactful and I'll also talk about when I actually find time to read which if you've got a job and you're doing a lot of other different things, you're probably like, where am I gonna find some time to read a book? It's a good question. The last disclaimer I'm gonna throw in here is that these are paper books. I actually write notes in them, I highlight them. That's just what I like to do, I want a physical book. I haven't been sold on the Kindle idea, and I've tried the auto books, but I just don't retain a lot. So, with that said, a lot of these are on audio. If you wanna listen to these while you're driving to work, that's completely fine. I'm just talking about the actual content in the book, in the audio file, it doesn't really matter. We're talking about the content and what you can get from it. So before I actually give you the list of the 18 books, I wanna tell you how I personally rate a book. It might be different for you, but at least you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about when I'm looking at these books. So one of the very first things, if, if I'm talking about personal development and personal growth, is it actionable? Is it something that I can take from the book, make a note, and if I wanted to, if I was that excited about it, can I come back and actually take action on some of the stuff that the author wrote in there? Some that are in my top five do actually have that, and others just did such a great job in the other two categories that I hung on to it, and it is in my top five. Number two, if I can read the book again, if the author held my attention for that long, that's rating number two and how it's gonna fall in one of those top fives out of those 18 books. If it's not necessarily actionable or it's not something I really read again, then the author just has to do an amazing job at holding me to the pages. I know I'm jumping ahead here, but a really good example of that is actually Mark Manson's The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. He did an excellent job holding me to the pages. I was literally glued from the first 20 because it was a different way of telling a story that is already out there. I personally didn't feel that there were that many actionable pieces to it, and I'd actually kind of read it again. But the point is, the author held me to the pages. So the 18 books that I read in no particular order are as follows in 2018. I got to read Tools of Titans, got to read Crushing It by Gary V, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, Zero to One by Peter Thiel, Never Split the Difference, Negotiating as if your life depended on it by Chris Voss. Start with Why by Simon Sinek. Why Now is the Time to Crush It. Cash in on Your Passion by Gary Vee. Unshakable by Tony Robbins. Let's Get Real or Let's Not Play by Mahan Khalsa and Randy Illig. The First 90 Days by Michael Watkins. The Secret, which is a classic by Rhonda B. We're gonna do B because I can't pronounce her last name. Screw It, Let's Do It by Richard Branson. The good old autobiography on Jeff Bezos. It's called The Everything Store by Brad Stone. Think and Grow Rich by by Napoleon Hill. Predictable Revenue by Aaron Ross and Mary Lou Tyler. Another Gary Vee classic, Jab, 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 Right Hook. Yep, had to make sure that was three jabs. The follow-up to Predictable Revenue, from Impossible to Inevitable by Aaron Ross and Jason Lemkin. And the last one is actually The Lean Startup, which I do not have. I lent it to somebody else, but that's number 18 by Simon Sinek. All right, so you saw the 18 books that I read, and you saw how I broke it down into the top five books. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with those. The very first one I want to talk about is gonna actually be Never Split the Difference. I was a really big fan of this book because I am in sales already, and essentially this is taking an FBI negotiator and actually taking some of those tested tools and actually, I, I don't wanna necessarily say manipulation, but essentially it is, talking anyone into or out of just about anything, and that's exactly what this book is. So you can basically take it on the sales side and, and really put some actionable pieces to it. So I really like this book. I, again, felt that it was something that I could take in. One, I would reread it. The author definitely kept me 
entertained the entire time I was glued to the book. And the reason was because he did a really good job at tying his personal stories. I'm talking like hostage negotiation for high level stuff to sales and negotiation, which was just really cool. Definitely glued to the page. And lastly was the actionable steps. This is something that you can act on. There are a lot of examples he gives here and he actually does mentoring or let's say consulting in this case as well. So he hits all three for me. It is definitely a top five. Uh, book for me and the reason is because it is an actionable book the author kept me completely tied to it the entire time and it was also extremely actionable number four for me for 2018 was actually zero to one by peter thiel and it also has blake masters involved this one was a really good one and i think struck something personally for me i'm really interested in the startup life at one now you know the co-founder of paypal writes a book you're probably gonna go read it but what peter thiel did to get into my top five was really made this book number one something that i would definitely reread and number two it just kept me tied to the pages it's my number four it's my top five for for 2018 i don't know if it'd be necessarily somebody else's if you are not interested in the entrepreneurial world if you're not interested in building business if you're not interested in hearing how that is actually done especially by somebody who's who's done it so if that's not something that you'd be interested in then this book might not actually make it into your top five if that sounds like something you'd want to do i'd definitely go check out zero to one by Peter Thiel. So number three for me was actually the subtle art of not giving a fuck. It's a counterintuitive approach to living a good life by Mark Manson. And I gotta say, the, the title itself got me really interested and I was, I was almost turned off by the first couple of, let's say, I don't know, two chapters. Mark Manson takes a very different approach to something that I think a lot of people run into. A, a big focus on the book is essentially happiness and freedom and not giving a fuck, obviously. Hence the title, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. But what he really means by that is essentially, in this, I, I could be wrong, Mark Manson could go ahead and comment and tell me the truth or not here, but I really think that it has to do with value of your time, right? And I think he takes a very different approach to addressing that. And that's what got me so interested. At first, the first 20 pages, the first couple of chapters, I really felt it was a, kind of like a negative feeling. And I'm a, I'm a generally positive guy and so at first I was kind of like what is this guy trying to do he's just giving you a different approach he almost pushes back on what the the, the norm is right I would definitely reread this book it's a solid reminder it, it hits a chord personally and I think the author Mark Manson did an amazing job at holding me to the pages it was just different there are a lot of self-help books there are a lot of books on value your time and being happy and freedom and think and grow rich and all this stuff and Mark just had a very different way of telling a story. And from a personal standpoint as well. So I think he blew that piece out of the water. In terms of actionable steps, that's where he kind of loses me here. I don't think there's there's too much action here other than just not giving a fuck. And that, that's really hard for a lot of people. I think there, there are a lot of thoughts that go into that. And I think he could have done a better job at actually providing some feedback on that. But... I think he blew, blew the, the storytelling out of the water so much that it really trumps all the other stuff. And that's why I ended my, my top three and why I will definitely be rereading this book. My second book was actually Crushing It by Gary Vee. For those of you that haven't watched my video with Gary Vee, I actually emailed Gary Vee. I'll, I'll kind of just summarize that really quickly. I started following him again after I had stopped, probably about 2016, right about the time I came back to Orlando, and just recently picked up his books. I read Crush It, and I thought it was an amazing book. And it, in my opinion, I thought Crush It was kind of like the rich dad, poor dad to social media. And Crushing It was really cool because I felt that he did a really good job, and not only telling the way he does it, and actually outlining, so the actionable steps, but also showing how other people have done it as well, and not necessarily taking Gary Vee's advice. So the actionable piece to crushing it is all there. I, I really enjoyed it. The, the other piece is Gary did an awesome job, as he always does, at holding you to the pages. So if you watch his YouTube, if you watch him speak in person, you listen to his podcast, you know the guy will hold you to a screen because he is just so hyper-passionate about what he's talking about. So imagine that, except just in a book, on paper. 
he does the same exact thing. He holds you to the book. Last piece to crush in it, which makes it number two, is I would totally read it again. I actually made notes, and I have in all my si every single book, notes, and then I highlight a lot of things, but the notes and the tabs that I put in there are actually things that I want to go back to. And I know that doesn't always necessarily happen, but the idea is that when I'm looking into Instagram and I'm look looking into YouTube and I'm looking into TikTok that I'm building up an audience on, this is something that I'm gonna go to. So the last one, number one for me, was kind of hard to decide, but when I really looked at the three ways that I'm, I'm looking at these books, it, it wasn't that hard at all. And I have got nothing but great things to say about this book. I don't know if you guys haven't tried Zevia yet, but I would definitely jump on that train. Number one for me was actually Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss. Your immediate thought is, damn, that's a big book. And I agree. It actually scared the shit out of me when it finally arrived on my doorstep that I was even going to get this done. And when you really get into the book, you find out that the book is actually a lot faster of a read than you think it is by looking at this book. It broke you down into healthy, wealthy, and wise. And what Tim Ferriss does here is actually has interviews, experiences, a lot of this stuff with different billionaires, people that have been successful, and, and people that have just really made a name for themselves in their own specific industry. I mean, you've got stuff in here that are talking about microdosing on LSD. You've got people that are, are stretching their mindset to the extreme, like maybe not necessarily sleeping full five hours. Stuff that differentiates the highly successful from those that are not. So with me talking about all that stuff, what you really think about is that this book is highly actionable. There are steps throughout the entire book on every single piece, not only from the people that are being interviewed by Tim Ferriss, but even Tim Ferriss, he's actually tried a lot of the stuff that he goes and interviews these people about, and he shares that. This book is almost like a playbook for becoming successful or stretch, getting outside your comfort zone or trying new things. So in terms of actionable, it, it has taken the cake out of all those books that I've read, all 18. The second piece that I was always looking at is if the author can hold your attention, and Tim Ferriss does a great job of this, I feel that he has kind of cheated because he gets to use a lot of the other people being interviewed in some of their stories, but I still really feel that he does a great job of telling his own story in this book as well. There are pieces that he actually, he'll take after certain pieces, whether it's microdosing or something like that, and actually share his personal experience and some of the tips that he's tried. So not only does he hold you to the pages with some of the stories of these billionaires and these super successful entrepreneurs, but he holds Hold you to the pages because he's done it. He's actually tried it out, which is really cool. And the last piece, which all these top five actually have, is would I actually read the book again? And yes, I would. My big piece is I make sure that I wake up in the morning drink my cup of coffee before the day even gets started and I like to spend some time on myself and, and reading a good book whether that is personal development or sci-fi book. This year for me I, I did order a whole bunch of books for um, NLP and a little more of a sales focus that's just this year. I got another goal I gotta hit. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna put the names of all 18 books in the description. I'm not gonna link them. I do not have any affiliate links at all, but you can go ahead and search it if you want to check some of these out. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and hit like. If you wanna come back for more content, again, this is kind of a, a side piece to what we normally do, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell next door to that. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend. I'm gonna go get myself some more Zevia. Bye.